Hey Bunny, well, once again we are at um, the beautiful boat sleepers here and I've got Bunny right here, she's going to explain something about these trucks. I know they're coming into a different class of um, application for their sleepers, so Bunny, welcome back to EEW Magazine, thank you for being a part of the Louisville Truck Show and as always, you're on top of your game, so tell me about this big red peak we got behind us here. Well I'm going to let Ron tell you about the truck, it's a Peterbilt truck. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about the sleeper. So. Just a quick overview on the truck. My name is Ron Cobb from with JX Peterbilt. This is a uh, brand new uh, 2019 Peterbilt 567 model. It's a set forward front axle. We have a 500 Cummins in that with the automated transmission, 276 inch wheelbase. It's the wonderful Viper Red along with uh, the chrome accent package on the mirrors and the sun visor. Uh, this is based off our 579 uh, cab model. So uh, we were able to order this truck custom built for Bolt in order for them to be able to put the sleeper on. Uh, the back of the cab was cut out and open. Uh, we had a lot of components, special design for it, to be able to hook up the APU fuel lines and antifreeze uh, in order to make this installation as simple as possible. We also did a, uh, a frame layout and custom uh, located the fuel tanks, uh, the dev tank, all the cross members. So this truck is ready to go, custom built for this application. So what do we have over here? Would this be the same application of truck, the blue one that we have here? That's a 579 model. Uh, that's a 96 inch sleeper as well. This, if you notice the hood on the front, it's aerodynamic. It has the headlights uh, designed into the front hood. This is a 117 bumper to back a cab. It also has the chrome accent on it with the bright bumper and mirrors and sun visor. Um, it's virtually the, the, the same truck uh, from the cab but it is a setback for an axle instead of a set forward, and it does have the aerodynamic nose on it versus the more traditional look of the 567. Now the showpiece, the centerpiece, this is absolutely stunning. What can you tell me about the, the unit that we got here? This is a 2015 Kenworth T680. It has a 150 inch integrated sleeper on it. It's got our sleeper uh, flirt skirts that cover up all the fuel tanks covers up the generators. These are custom made by Bolt. Um, you can see our emblem right here that says flirt skirts. They're copy route. Um, this is a fully integrated sleeper on a 300 inch wheelbase. Super singles. Um, so you can keep your, your truck length down by doing the integrated sleeper. It also gives you the taller opening from the cab walking into the sleeper. And we'll walk into the sleeper and I'll show you some of the features in here. Let's take a look at it. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at this, everyone. The bed's in the down position. When you put the bed up, 
You have the table and the two chairs as well. Um, it's got very big, deep overhead cabinets that lock with a push button. Shelves inside. Lots and lots of storage in the bolt sleepers. Now, Bunny, how tall are you? Um, well, I tell everybody I'm 5'9", but I'm really only about 5'5". Five five. <laughs> so, if you want to just hold your hands up, how much, look at the, everybody, look at how, how much headroom you have here. Yeah. Now, I stand 6'1", so I've got, I can't even touch the ceiling in here, guys. So, this is an example of just how much room, headroom you've got and all the space that you've got that that's, you can work with here. So, Bunny, this is all custom. Can we, can you add any application of interior to this? You can, yeah, you can do your own color package. Um, this one, of course, has a side entry door. Um, so, you know, you're kind of limited in your countertop space, but if you didn't do the side entry door, you could have a countertop that goes all the way forward. Um, it, one of the things, one of the features in the Bolt Custom Trucks is, is they do um, the little spice racks that are built in. These can be medicine storage areas and they make them decorative um you've got your window blinds hidden behind them which is i i think is a really nice feature awesome um there's also a lot of storage i don't know if you can get this but there's some hidden panels back in here that you can put stuff in which we all want extra storage every little nook and cranny bolt puts extra storage space oh, wow. and that's one of the really nice features you can put books dvds um, whatever your heart desires um, one of the things that bolt does is behind this cushion when you lift this cushion up your your electrical box and everything is right back here in the back so you're not down on the floor on your hands and knees trying to check the breaker or replace a fuse. Okay. Um, all of the uh, sleepers typically have the outlets that have the USB plugs in them because everybody wants the USB plugs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a really nice feature. Um, um, Bunny, show me the how accessible this is when you get ready to go into the cab now. You guys know the room that we have here. So this is how easily it is to go from living quarters to business office right right here you just walk right up there's plenty of room between the seats on the t uh, Kenworth t680 lots of headroom um, we also have enough height in this sleeper to be able to put your TV on the ceiling and you just push a button and the TV comes down you got your surround sound system so plenty of headroom height for somebody that's you know six foot six foot five awesome and this is the shower unit here correct yes, sir this is um bolts shower and it has little shelves up on top for storage up above the shower head um we also have the option to do the tile floor in the shower which is a really nice feature this one has the teak um, stepping board in there uh, we do the potty i don't know if you can see this but the top of the potty turns so oh, wow. you can move it out of the way when you are taking a shower um and and it's not the bench seat that everybody says feels like you're in an outhouse this is a little <laughs> bit more comfortable okay um so yeah now how much water is uh capable of being stored on this unit uh, this particular truck has a 40 gallon fresh water tank. Um, you can add water depending on how much you want. I mean, we could put another 40 gallon in. This one we just built as a spec, so until we sell it, we just did the 40. Outstanding. Yeah. Well, thank you, Money. This is an absolute beautiful unit. This is the refrigerator units here at yep. Refrigerator yep. This Freezer. Is the Norcold 7.5. It's got the refrigerator. Freezer on top. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. It's got the microwave up here that's not too tall. Even I can open the door and get something out of it. That's real important to us women mm -hmm. that we're not, you know, taking soup down, hot soup while you're driving down the road and exactly. ended up spilling it. 
And so, this is more cabinet space on the side here? It is, yes. There's lots and lots of storage lots in this one. Well, Bonnie, I want to thank you for this opportunity to take a tour of Bolt. And as always, you're a gem in the industry. And I just want to say thank you. And um, keep it going, dear. Okay. Fantastic. We're ready. All right, guys. We'll see you guys a little bit more around the show. I, I hate to leave this sleeper here. I'm, this is like home. so. But I got to go. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>